Serious. If you won the lottery, and won enough to comfortably live for the rest of your life without working, would you retire? Why? Why not? Attention. Serious. Tag notice. Jokes. Puns. And off-topic comments are not permitted in any comment, parent or child. Parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed, along with their child replies. Report comments that violate these rules. Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour, and posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit if you have any questions or concerns. Hell yeah, I'd quit working. There are so many fulfilling things to do that don't involve paid employment. i travel the world wouldn't everyone. However I would be sensible and set up a low risk savings and investment portfolio. I'd also buy a few properties as an asset to leave to my children. I'm absolutely astounded by the amount of people on here saying number. A hobby farm and learning new crafts, pottery, lead lighting, leather work or a few that spring to mind, would be my daily work. Clocking in and being told what to do for money I don't need, nah. I'd buy a big plot of land, rescue dogs and cats, and other animals I guess. It'd set space aside for gardening and create succulent nurseries, and also get into pottery. I could make a little bit of money out of those two while saving all the wolves and meows. It's weird to me how some people think retiring means sitting in one place doing nothing and wasting away until you die. You can still not go to work and focus on your projects and follow your dreams. With that said, I would absolutely retire in a heartbeat. I like my job, but I'd be crazy not to take the opportunity to leave and just enjoy life. Sure there will be lazy days where I just sit at home playing video games. But I'd also take the time to travel around the world to reconnect with friends and family I haven't been able to visit in years because I had a job. Of course, purchase a plot of high elevation land 30-45 minute drive outside a major metropolis. Build a custom home, bunker with as many sustainability features as possible. Grey water capture reclamation, solar and wind energy systems, green rooftop, double basement with cold storage, make the property as self-sustaining as possible, make the home as easy as possible to use, live in, repair, make it possible to live off the grid, but not actually live off the grid, I'd still want internet, electricity, natural gas connections with local utilities, just in the event of system failures. Like the 2003 blackout, I don't have to panic about anything. Well, I'd want to continue my education, and once I've worked my way up to a PhD I'd probably want to use a bit. My work is alright, it involves plenty of travel, meeting cool people, learning new stuff, not too stressful and is generally laid back. Not as much fun as vodka and hookers, maybe I will only bang hookers with master's degrees. I would retire. I put that in quotes because that doesn't mean I'd stop working. I'm a writer. I've been published but I don't make any real money off of it. If I won the lottery I would keep my one bedroom apartment and low cost lifestyle. But I'd be free of having to do a day job free of the exhaustion of the daily grind and then trying to find the energy to write. I could just write, write relaxed and with a full night's rest behind me, write without worrying about rent. A friend of mine, much wiser than I, is a visual artist. He said that he doesn't care about being rich, just always having enough money to buy a beer whenever he wanted. I think he's on to something. Winning a lottery would only allow me to do what I love stress-free. 
Here is how I think my life after lottery win would go. I would not work. Knowing me though, I would start to risk to work car or truck then get bored after a couple weeks. Then I would travel and get bored or fed up with the hassle of all that packing and unpacking after a couple of weeks. Then I would come home, realize that I need to chill out because I'm really lazy anyways. And after a couple weeks of that I would be full of shame and guilt for not being able to find happiness. Then I would start working out to feel better but quit because I hate working out. Then I would start volunteering to help local people and quit because I realized that I hate people. Then I would stop by my old job and they would talk me into coming back because we have so much fun but only stay for a couple weeks because who needs the hassle right? Then I would realize that I'm just never going to be happy and the lie except I'm just a lazy piece of shit. Then I would learn to embrace my lazy reality. Become happy with all my money and live happily ever after. My current goal is to get debt free including a paid off house and run a dog daycare training facility until I was ready to retire. If I won the lottery, I'd just do that now instead of 10 years from now. But my current occupation, iron worker, would allow me to work a few months a year long after that and I would. I love my job. But it's hard on the body, and I'm always thinking of how to get out before I cripple myself lol. I would take some time out, maybe 6 months to a year, to figure out what I want to do with my life. For example walking the Appalachian Trail and just enjoying myself for a bit. I'd probably also buy a house and maybe volunteer with some homeless or mental health charities. Screw it. Maybe even join the military for a few years. I don't want to become soft. My dream job is to work in a museum as an archivist. Unfortunately you either need a degree in it or to do an apprenticeship for like a year. And then if you got a job in the field the salary is very low. So if I won the lottery I could have my dream job while still living in my high cost town. I am currently trying to figure out a way to get experience in this field while still working full time so I can one day have my dream job. Definitely, I hate working, and there's so much that I want to do that requires money and time. I have no work-related ambition. I do however want to travel around the world on a bicycle or motorcycle and stop to set up camp wherever I please. To fully enjoy that I'd need a few years and quite a bit of money. Also, with what I make I'll never be able to buy a house without going into even more debt that likely will never be paid off. I'd retire immediately if that ever happened, and I love my job. I'd work like one last week and then quit abruptly. Then I'd hire lawyers, accountants and start investing all my shit. Then I'd do a bit of traveling around the world, looking for a good place to buy a house and set up base. Then I'd do a lot of partying and networking with other rich people. Later on I'd look into starting a company. I think what having a safety blanket is is that it helps you take risks you otherwise wouldn't. I would go and work in another line which I'm curious about at 1 slash 10 th the pay and even start at the bottom or I would develop the balls to even take bigger risks in my own workplace even at the risk of pissing people off. Well, yeah. Of course, I'd use all of that extra free time to travel every so often, while being engulfed in my own projects and interests. I know it's hard to wrap our minds around this concept, but there's much more to life than being a corporate slave. Number, I'd want something structured to do, but I work in an industry with a variety of shift options. So I could work super part time. I could also use the work money on fun purchases guilt free, as the question says I'd have enough money to live comfortably, not necessarily enough to never have to worry about money again. My mom is an expert at not working. She was a Cub Scout and mother, Sunday school teacher, member of multiple book clubs, amateur marathon runner, amateur triathlete domestic manager, and raised four children. Happy Mother's Day to all.
You ever see that movie Office Space? And there's the scene in the beginning where the main character explains that his school would ask what would you do for work if money were not a concern? And if it was risk to world cars, you were supposed to be a mechanic or whatever. And the main character says, nothing. I do absolutely nothing. That's me. I hate working. It doesn't matter what it is. I hate it. I'd never work another day off my life. Probably not. Spending so much time struggling unemployed since the pandemic started has shown to me how just down, boring, and if you're not careful unhealthy life can become when you've got all the time in the world by yourself. A comfortable amount of money may change that, or it may lead me to leaning towards more bad habits that would burn that money way faster than it should go. I feel like it's healthy to have a purpose in life no matter how small that overall purpose may be. But anything you can do to contribute to society and help people out just makes me feel more complete as a person. I feel like winning an amount like that would more likely push me into finding a better, more fulfilling career regardless of whatever they pay as opposed to calling it quits and riding off in the sunset altogether. Although I do not have a job, if I had a job that paid well but I wasn't very happy, I would retire and get a job that I enjoy to the fullest. Even if the pay is shit I would still take it. Animal shelter, zookeeper, porn star. JK and less. I'd retire to a gentleman's farm, and turn my career in writing crappy cell phone apps and develop a few indie titles and actually make my guy thub projects be finished projects rather than something I hope someone gets some use out of one day. I just don't have the motivation to code things I want to after coding things for someone else for 8-10 hours a day. I don't even use a computer in my free time most nights. A couple of bakers, a cow every year a few goats, and a big friggin' garden. Yes and number, I could never fully retire because that's just how I'm wired. I wouldn't have a 9-5 or anything like that, but I'd still do work that I wanted to do, paid or otherwise, as well as help friends and family with work when they need it, like helping at my pastor's flower shop around the holidays. H M. Mm, I don't think so. I am one of the lucky few that enjoys my work, despite all the pitfalls it might have at times. If being in lockdown taught me anything, it was that I needed the purpose in life and going to work keeps me going. I would try to aim for a job that was more flexible and had less hours though. Yes, I would. I'm a nurse and working through this pandemic has shown me how little people think of us. We went from heroes to nobodies in a matter of months. I've had people cough and spit in my face on purpose. So why should I continue to risk my well-being when people don't care about mine? I had four days off work last week and I was looking forward to going back to work on day 3. I want to be doing something in my life that gets me out of the house, otherwise I fall back into some terribly lazy and unhealthy lifestyle habits. As a high schooler who hasn't worked yet, no I don't think so. I need something in my life to feel motivated about. I like working hard most of the time. Right now I don't because of COVID and it's just too much but I do like to be a hard worker. I'm a student right now in high school and I can say for sure that I could live off the kindness of many people in my life. Living comfortably includes work for me. If I don't go to school for a long period of time, everything that I like doing begins to lose appeal and enjoyability. I'd probably still slowly work on my career in law, just in case, especially since I would eventually want to travel the world, which would take quite a bit of funds, and maybe invest in property, depending on how the market is at the time. I'd invest the money I won as well as contributions to my retirement fund from my employer, because I wouldn't need to work as hard to save for retirement, 
I'd ask to transfer to a department at the office where the work is less hectic but with less benefits and allowances. I'm currently in a core department which has a different pay scale compared with support departments. The support departments were the first to offer flexi working hours while the core departments maintain the usual coming into office every single day because of a lot of ad hoc requests. Well, my company has been good to me and I have a lot of special training and security clearances for my job in addition to regular construction experience because of the kinds of projects we get. It would take about a year to get a candidate the training and clearances they'd need to replace me as long as they were already experienced in construction and have a clean record so I'd stick around and train them. Then it's off to the woods with my hubby by an ice lake and build my cabin. Have some chickens for eggs, goats for lawn and milk and my fishing pole. A nice garden for veggies. The good life. If I ever got that I will quit the job but not teaching dot 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 I will travel as many places dot 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 and teach at various other places dot 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 study history all over the world dot 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 live at some place temporarily and then move in my caravan to a new place. P.S. I've always dreamt of living in a caravan dot 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 probably that would be the first thing I would buy if I win the lottery. I think I would keep working, and for my salary I guess I would take like a dollar a year dot 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 I mean obviously I wouldn't come until noon and I wouldn't do anything I didn't wanna do, I mean I'm getting paid a dollar a year, okay, you can chill. Wouldn't retire, I'd go into music education, unfortunately teachers do not make a great deal of money. So being set financially would be a great reason to teach to music to students. Ultimately my dream occupation, otherwise I might retire and work on cars for fun. If I had that much money I would fund and carry out my own research, pay to take courses on a whole bunch of different lab skills, buy equipment, buy a lab space, get certifications, etc. Maybe hire a small staff. And if I have leftover money for kicks I buy the rights to the name Aperture Science from Valve, and make the company tagline we do what we must, because we can, if possible, I'd make videos about all my research, as it wouldn't be covered by any NDAs or anything, and maybe pick up ad revenue for stuff, then I would just test whatever came to mind and see where that took me, publish papers in peer-reviewed journals and then kickstart the first video format peer-reviewed research journal and try to establish it as an accredited publication. Retirement would be boring if you had nothing to do, and I've always wanted my own lab. I think it'd be fun. I would go and become a cabinet maker's apprentice and finish getting my master ticket. Then I would retire and make furniture. I would also get a very easy part-time job. Maybe start a girls woodworking after school program. Shop is a hard option to get into in school and when I went to school I never got into even when I put as my first pick. Mostly men maybe one girl was in the class, so having this option so girls can experience the trade and have creativity would be cool. Part time work so allows for socialization so you're not isolated. Of course I would. I'd devote my newfound time to the things I want to do that I never had the mental energy for due to work draining it all away. Things like making a video game, learning a few instruments, exercising more regularly, etc. Retiring doesn't mean quitting your job and living on a beach for the rest of your life. It means you get to do what you like. You can, of course, live on a beach for the rest of your life, but you can also stay where you are and work on your model railroads, or roam the country, or, heck, work. Working through your retirement simply means you don't have to work in order to make a living. If you do, you haven't really retired, you've just changed jobs to one you like more. So, yeah, I'd retire. I find it very difficult to comprehend how anyone could still work having enough money not having to do so. I have no memories from work that would ever be worthy of thinking about in my final moments on earth. 
My fondest memories are ones that are born out of freedom, impulse and love. Not having to work would mean I can only hold myself to account for not being fulfilled. Yes, I would love to have a bar, workshop, learn to fix cars, etc etc. I certainly wouldn't lay around every day, but I'd love to be able to have the choice to wake up every single day of my life and say fuck it, I'm gonna do nothing today.